Good morning everyone, my name is Keiva from class 8B and I bought a little story for you guys today and it's called The Town Mouse and the Country Mouse. A town mouse once visited a relative who lived in the country. For lunch, the country mouse served wheat stalks, roots, and acorns with a dash of cold water for drink. The town mouse ate very sparingly, nibbling a little of this and a little of that and by her manner, making it very plain that she ate the simple food only to be polite. After the meal, the friends had a long talk. Or rather, the town mouse talked about her life in the city while the country mouse listened. They then went to bed in a cozy nest in the hedgerow and slept in a quiet and comfort until morning. In her sleep, the country mouse dreamed she was a town mouse with all the luxuries and delights of city life that her friend had described for her. So the next day, when the town mouse asked the country mouse to go home with her to the city, she gladly said yes. When they reached the mansion in which the town mouse lived, they found on the table in the dining room the livings of very fine banquet. They were sweet meats and jellies, Pastries, delicious cheeses, indeed the most tempting food that a mouse can imagine. But just as the country mouse was about to nibble a dandy of bed of pastry, she heard a cat mew loudly and scratch at the door. In great fear, the mice scurried to a hiding place, where they lay quiet still for a long time, hardly daring to breathe. When they last, they ventured back to the feast, the door opened suddenly and in came the servants to clear the table, followed by the house dog. The country mouse stopped in the town mouse dance only long enough to pick up her carpet, bag and umbrella. You may have luxuries and dandies that I have not, she said as she hurried away, but I prefer my plain food and simple life in the country with the peace and security that I go with. So, the moral of the story is that it is better to live in a self-sufficient poverty than to be tormented by the wars of wealth. That's all from me today. Thank you for listening. See you next time.